Right. Let's finish up part three. So this verse, this verse is one of the most prominent verses in Srimad Bhagavatam. Please repeat. Dharma projata kaitavotra paramonyam matsaranam satang deyang bastavam atra bastu shivadang tapa trayon mulanam Srimad Bhagavate Mahamuni Krite King Bhaparayar Ishvaraha Sadyo Hridi Avarud Yatetra Kritibi Sususibis Takshanat So what I did in the first canto Prabhupada translates this verse one way and then I found in Chaitanya Charitamrita he translates it slightly different so what did I do? combine the two so you're going to get a combined definition based on Prabhupada so please repeat the great scripture Srimad Bhagavatam compiled by Mahamuhuni Vyasade in his maturity because he had already done the four Vedas, hundred and Upanishads, Puranas, Itihasas, Vedanta. So this was his final masterpiece. From a four original verses. Who remembers? Where do you find those four verses? Canto 2? No. Chapter 9. Very good. Somebody learns. Very good. 33, 34, 35, 36. Very good. This makes me happy. Huh? Yeah, Chatu Shloka. Yes, that's what that is. Please repeat. Describes the most elevated and kind hearted devotees. Yeah, because you've got Dhruva, you've got Prahlad, you've got uh, who else? Ambarish. So many devotees. Chitraketu, so many the stories of devotees and completely rejects the cheating ways of materially motivated religiosity so that we described a little while ago the so called prosperity gospel Srimad Bhagavatam propounds, propounds the highest truth Which is reality distinguished from illusion for the welfare of all. So that's key. We're not just interested in a little, little click. This is for everyone. Everyone should get Srimad Bhagavatam. This Bhagavad Purana. Proffers or presents the highest principle of eternal religion which can factually mitigate the threefold miseries of a living being. Miseries caused by what? Yes. Can translate? Or Vyasadeva Mind, body or mind, other living entities, the demigods. Very good. <coughs> and we already discussed what's the highest principle of eternal religion? We had that love of God. Somebody learned their lessons. Thank you, Manish. And award the highest benediction of full prosperity and knowledge. Srimad Bhagavatam is sufficient in itself for God realization. Just see, 
alone is sufficient for God realization. And therefore, there is no need for any scripture other than Srimad Bhagavatam. So, somebody's going to say, well, what happened to Bhagavad Gita? Don't worry. Bhagavad Gita, Srimad did the same. Don't worry. Okay? Which is understandable by those devotees who are fully pure in heart. So that's important. If you really want to understand Bhagavadam, you have to have a pure heart. You can't have envy. Nirmatsaranam, the verse, one of the words. Nirmatsaranam, everybody say. That means no envy, no jealousy. Right? Okay. Those willing to hear the message of Srimad Bhagavatam in a submissive attitude of service. Ah, that's important. Same thing, Bhagavad Gita 434. Krishna says, approach your guru with submission and service. Yes. So, the spiritual master reveals Bhagavatam. You have to be submissive and you have to have the service attitude. Can at once capture the Supreme Lord in their hearts. Mm, to capture. He's already there. But can you say you have captured him? Well, here we have given us, we have heard what are the secrets of success. Everybody chant the Maha Mantra. So, what did you think of?